I love him so much. And I've done nothing over the past few days except cry and cry and cry. And I don't know what to do. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, going to go over a story titled, I, a 26-year-old female, asked my boyfriend of five years to consider an open relationship. He broke up with me, and I'm heartbroken and going insane. And guys, this story, this girl is having a freaking meltdown. There, there is no other way to describe what I'm about to read here. And to no surprise, you're going to see that she has what she describes as this great, amazing relationship. That her guy is traditional. You think that she would keep that in mind upon asking what she asked. He certainly is way more mature than her, acts like an adult. You'll see that she'll describe him as someone that's calm and easygoing. And if there's ever a disagreement, he doesn't fight and have a lot of drama. He talks about it in a mature, rational manner, which she'll admit she even didn't like at first because girls like drama. And she puts this idea on him. And instead of going along with it, like a lot of guys do, or thinking about it, whatever, he just, he's done. He says pretty much go hook up with whoever you want, and he walks out. And she is completely shocked by this, I don't know how, and is losing it. And to no surprise, is painting herself as the victim. And I've told you guys this countless times, because I know I can do people all the time. Your girl brings up the open relationship or open marriage thing if you're married, it's over. It's been over for a long time. And the odds are extremely high that already she's hooking up with somebody else. She's already cheating, and this is a way to give her permission to cheat. Or she uh, has a guy or multiple guys lined up and ready to go when the guy caves and goes for this. Because a lot of guys, when they ask this, no girl is going to ask this of a guy that of a guy they're in love with or deeply respect. They're going to ask it guys that they're with, that they're with them for the sake of having a boyfriend or a husband that can they can benefit from. And they also know what the guy's way more into them and the relationship than they are. So they have the leverage to pull this off. And of course you have articles popping up left and right about open relationships, open marriages, therapists that are poly friendly or whatever. So this idea gets in a lot of these gals' heads. And it's just a mess. And it's the mess because, particularly because when the guys go along with this. But thank the Lord, a lot of guys that do go along with this usually end up finding a, another girl and kick her ass to the curb. But it's like how many of these stories has to be told until these morons wake up and realize this is not going to work. And guys aren't going to stand for this bullshit. Because I can't tell you the, even a ratio of, of how many guys ask request this versus how many the women request. It's like... Hundreds to one. No joke. And yes, I do look for both. Some people say I'm a little biased here. But I do look for both. Overwhelmingly, it's the, the women bringing this up. Because, let's be honest, overwhelmingly, it's the women that have the power in their relationships. So, getting into it. She says here, I'm not going to bore you guys with huge blocks of text, so here goes. I've been with my boyfriend for five years. He's amazing. Great job. Ding, ding, ding. Great family, friends love him, intelligent, attractive, supportive, and the SEX life is great. Okay, then why are you going to F it up? But then again, women love drama, women love turmoil. Uh, one of the most important points is that we do not fight at all. And he's quite firm about this. He thinks fighting is a waste of time and for children. I learned that early on in the relationship and realized it's something I've grown to agree with, even though I hated it at first. We always sit down, discuss, and talk about issues and are able to reach compromises. So, if you have a relationship, for your relationship guy, guys, and there's never a disagreement with you and your girl, that's a problem. Okay, you can't have two people together often together without some kind of disagreement or something like that. If there's no, you know... You want to be drama free and you don't need to be fighting and yelling and throwing dishes and you get the point. But you're going to have disagreements and there's none of that and you're not checking her on things, then this is a problem. But here, yes, they do have disagreements and things like that, but he doesn't yell and get dramatic and hey, sit down and talk about it. He handles it right. But she said right there, I hated it first. Why'd she hate it first? 
because she wanted drama. He wouldn't engage with her. And that's, that's what I tell you guys to do. You do relationships. If she starts yelling and carrying on and you start doing it too, she wins. She gets you to act like her. But when you're calm or you walk away when she's being like ridiculous, oh, makes them nuts. So that's what guys have to do, even though it's hard. Somebody's yelling at you and starting a, a fight. It's very tempting to start yelling back. But if you're calm about it and say, I'm not going to act. When you calm down and stop acting like a child, we can talk like adults, something like that. That's what you do. And she doesn't like that very much. He's very understanding and patient and never gets so angry that he has to raise his voice. He's also quite traditional in some aspects too, which is good and bad. Although I've been able to talk to him and open his mind up about certain things. Translation, she's had her share of manipulation tactics to get him to do things that she wants to do. Open-minded. Don't be so open-minded that your brain falls out, guys. I know he hates cheaters, and I do trust him, and I know he trusts me too. He never ever restricted me or not let me do anything. Because of these things about him, I'm quite confused by how he's acting. Well, as we're about to see, I'm not confused by how he's acting. Clearly, he probably let her get away with more things than he should have, therefore, her surprise and her gall to ask what she asked. I've been thinking about wanting to have an open relationship for a while. It would be fair both ways. We both get to sleep with other people as long as we're honest about each other, about it, and it was purely physical. Then you clearly aren't in love with your man. You clearly don't respect him because if you truly loved him, you wouldn't want any woman touching him or the possibility that she could take him away from you. So clearly, you're not in love with him. And clearly, there's other dudes just waiting to go. <clears throat> I know he's quite traditional. Then why do you think he reacts the way he does? But it also never seemed like something he would be against, as he said things like, I have nothing against girls who like to sleep around as long as they don't pretend they're innocent good girl types. However, I'm not going to pretend that he is a monogamous type of guy. Because he is. I just figured that maybe I could open his mind to try something different. Translation, maybe I can manipulate him and use enough leverage to get my way. That's what she was hoping for. Wrong. She says he's very good in bed, but I just wanted to have some other experiences. Is that really wrong? Well, if you don't want this, then you're going to have to break up with him and go get all the sausage you want. But guess what? He'll be done with you too. But she's thinking, wait a second here. Maybe I can keep him who has the great job and my family likes and my friends like and I'll have the boyfriend and a potential husband one day and I can go out there and get all the dick I want. That's what she's hoping for. Cake and eat it too. Selfish a-hole. Permission to cheat. I love him. No, you don't. And it has nothing to do with just purely physical sex. So a few days ago, I decided to bring up the topic with opening up a relationship with him. His answers were, are you joking or are you serious? To which I said, I was being serious and wanted to know how, it felt, how he felt about it. You weren't asking how he felt about it. You were setting the stage to tell him pretty much this is it. I want to go get some sausage or I'm walking away. He then told me that I could sleep with whoever I wanted to sleep with and to have a nice life. Good job, man. Good job. Then he packed some stuff up and left. We share an apartment and I couldn't really stop him. She didn't expect that one. Remember the traditional boyfriend. She had a, kind of had an idea how he might react. Since then, he has blocked me from calling him, all his social media, and won't speak to me. I don't know where he is staying because his friends refuse to talk to me, and I've been crying my eyes out for the past few days. Oh, you poor baby. You brought this on yourself, jackass. He has removed his relationship status from Facebook and has sent his friend over to get some of the other stuff, who has told me that he would eventually come to get the rest of the things, but wouldn't tell me anything else. He said that I've done enough damage and he's ashamed that he thought I would end up married with his friend. Well, thank the Lord this happened, honestly, because now he sees her true colors. Although, in my opinion, I could already see her true colors based on her description of things. He also told me that I would be happier and better off if I didn't pretend to be somebody I wasn't when I started dating once again. Yeah, very good point. 
If he said he wasn't comfortable with it, I would have been okay with that. But he never gave me a chance. He literally just broke up with me for bringing it up, and he's never been like that before. Because he knows darn well that it's over. It's not rocket science to figure out that if your girl wants to go F other dudes, and is cool with you hooking up with other girls, she obviously doesn't love you. And she's obviously not marriage material. She's not even fucking girlfriend material. So why would he waste one more moment of his time with someone like that? And he probably is smart enough to realize she's probably cheating or is has dudes already ready to go. That is why. That is why you didn't get a chance. I've been going to his workplace but haven't been able to see him and I can't get into the department where he works because you need to have clearance. And the receptionist says that he isn't taking any visits from anybody either. So you're in full stalker mode going to where he works. Great. I love him so much, and I've done nothing over the past few days except cry and cry and cry. She wrote that word for word. And I don't know what to do. I just want to talk to him and hear his voice and have him forgive me for being so stupid and tell me everything's going to be okay and talk to me like he usually does, but I don't understand how he can act like this and never act like this before. I don't know what to do, and I'm going fucking crazy. Well, you're going to continue going fucking crazy because he's done with you. And listen how, how she's talking here. with The pity party. Pl- everybody pity me. Blah, blah, blah. You're a grown-ass woman. You brought this on yourself. End of story. You had a great thing going. You're a child. You haven't grown up. He is way better than you. He is so out of your league, lady. Go date a bunch of Chad and Tyrone to behave like children. That's what you get. See, the second he called her bluff... The second it didn't work out the way she wanted, all of a sudden, never mind, I changed my mind, I'm so sorry, I didn't want that. We all heard she wanted it. The only thing I've been able to get from him is that one of my mutual friends talked to him for a while, but he basically didn't want to talk about about it to anybody else. But the friend did ask him if he's really going to, listen to this, throw away five years over something so small. So her friend, the mutual friend, who obviously is a woman, went over there and is twisting things around that he's the bad guy throwing away five years over something so small. He didn't do anything as say, go sleep with whoever you want. I'm out of here. We're done. She's the one that caused this. And I never cease to amaze me. The manipulation tactics, the gaslighting. You're going to throw away five years? Why would he spend five seconds more with this woman that clearly is going to go anywhere with? He's done. Move on. To which my boyfriend apparently said that he's not throwing away anything. He's cutting his losses while he can. See? Please help, Reddit. I really don't know what to do. It feels like I'm falling apart. And what's even worse is some of my friends tell me to do what to do, except, 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 etc. And the others are, tell, are there for me, but I don't know what to do either. Sorry if things don't make any sense. I'm a mess and everything is just coming out as best I can write it down. If anybody needs me to be clear, anything else, anything else I will. No, we don't need you to write anything else. We've heard enough of your drama. Lady, it's over. You screwed it up. You had a great thing going. He was smart enough and wise enough to cut you loose and to start. You wanted to get all the sausage you wanted. You wanted more experiences. We all heard that part. So go out there and have experiences. Don't be a home wrecker messing up any other relationships. Guys are in relationships or marriages, anything like that. It's over. You're not going to get him back. And good for this guy. Gentlemen, this guy handled it exactly right. But the only thing he didn't do right, in my opinion, is that there were clear-cut signs from her description of things, what she was like, that he shouldn't have been in a relationship with her to begin with. You know, she's a little drama queen. She didn't like that he wouldn't fight with her, stuff like that. That's a big sign right there. Notice that whenever there was a disagreement or something, he handled it like a freaking adult. There was no yelling or crying or tantrums or throwing dishes or chairs or furniture. He would talk about it. He didn't yell. He was calm. And she didn't like that. Whatever she wanted. She wanted the drama. That was a sign to get rid of her. And the part that she says, I was able to open his mind up to other things. Gee, I wonder what. No. She's toast. Move on. Leave this guy the hell alone. Have some freaking dignity. Nobody's buying your bullshit. Nobody's feeling bad for you. Accountability. Have some fucking accountability. Now, I'm going to wrap this up with some comments here because I'm not the only one that has this opinion. One guy says here, fun fact, a woman who brings up an open relationship either has someone in mind or is already cheating and just wants permission to avoid getting caught. The only reason the OP appears to be 
cool with the idea of an open relationship is because she knows her boyfriend won't sleep around. She's secretly hoping to cuck him. Women who want to sleep around hate when their men do it because they risk losing their man's affections and possibly long-term financial stability. Uh, they're talking about somebody else here. If the OP found out her boyfriend was seeing somebody blonde, someone blonde who was younger and thinner than her, she'd call off the open relationship with quickness. Yes. All these stories, when the women bring this up and the guy reluctantly goes along with it, he'll find some other woman, and if she feels like she's losing him to that woman, and even better if the girl's prettier and younger, oh, she calls it off right away. Uh, that's it. I want to close the open relationship, close the open marriage. You've all heard him. Now the guy says here, here's the thing that everybody else doesn't seem to be saying and that you're completely missing. The person that is saying, let's open up the relationship, normally has someone else in mind for it. You can try and tell us it goes both ways, but you know that Aaron was your first call after this. Aaron, he's just picking a name. What you're completely missing is your boyfriend knows this. He knows that you are interested in someone else and he isn't okay with his partner getting railed by some other dude. And you knew this going into the conversation, misguided by your two-way street thinking. So he could either agree and be hurt or disagree and suspect that you would just have your fun behind his back anyway, or walk. He walked, which is a sane, healthy decision. He is gone and he has told his friends and his friends will put him in a bag and beat him with hoses before they let you come back to you. All right. Last one here. One guy says, why are you trying to make out like he would benefit from it? You honestly think that because he's a guy, he would jump at the chance a bit to bang strangers. That's the only thing stopping him is that you wouldn't allow it. If my fiance said this to me, I would be a huge uh, gut punch. I'm not sure how I would deal with it, to be honest. His reaction is not unusual, in my opinion. And that was from a woman. So there you go, guys. Another gal that learned the hard way what happens when you bring this thing up. And good for this guy handling like a boss. This is what I tell all you guys, because I know y'all got a lot of relationship guys that watch me, and, or married guys, and you now know. And if you watched enough of this, you know exactly how to handle it. You know exactly red flags to watch out for, trusting your gut, drawing a line in the sand right then and there, amongst many other things. So good for this guy, and boo freaking who to the girl. She got what she deserved. All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.